Okay, so I saw this all over Pinterest where you basically heat up an old vinyl record to make shelves. So I did that and then I went to Lowe's because I actually wanted to put like semi-heavy stuff on them. So I bought these like supportive floating shelf things and then I actually had to be like a handy gal and hang them up which was really complicated but we got it done and it was looking so good. And then it was time to decorate so I set up all my cute and quirky things. Look how cute this rainbow planter is. I love it. And then I set up my books on one of them to add like a fun pop of color and and then on the last one, I got this cute hanging clock. And I just love how it looks. I'm gonna show you guys how I made this disco ball lamp, but full disclosure, I am not a professional. I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but this is how I did it. I start off with three of these disco balls. There's the top, and that's what the bottom looked like originally. I then removed some of the disco tiles from the bottom as well as taking off the top using a sharp weeding tool. This was to make room for the drill. I drilled on on each side of the styrofoam ball and then pushed an unsharpened pencil through it to make a clear path for the cord. I then went to Lowe's and I got a bottle lamp kit. Um, I didn't actually film myself doing any of this part because the instructions are easy to follow and there's absolutely no way that I could explain it better than them. Before gluing the three disco balls together, um, I ran the cord all the way through. And then for the little stand at the bottom, I used a mason jar lid that I popped the top out of and then I covered it in disco tiles from Amazon. Then there's a little hole in it for the cord to run through and this is what it looks like when it's all done. Yes, let's make a zine, I'm so excited. So to get started, all you need is a sheet of paper and some scissors. Take your paper, fold it hot dog style, then fold it horizontally, and then one more time horizontally. Then boom, here you go. So now we're gonna unfold this. So look, now you have eight pages for your zine, but we need to fold it this way, which is, I guess, hamburger style. So from here, you only cut up to the middle here. So when you unfold it, it should have a slit just in the middle. So you take this, you fold it hot dog style again, you squeeze the middle, and then you fold it up and there's your little booklet. While it's folded, I like to go in and number each page. That way when you unfold to decorate, you know which page is gonna be which. So when you fold it up, it should be in order. All right, so let me decorate mine right quick. Boom, there you go, that's a zine. And then you can make copies of this, that way you could distribute it. Then there's a zine. So a lot of you guys wanted a tutorial on how I did these laminated ID cards that I did for my friends and I. And if you do this, please tag me for credit because it took me a lot of time to figure out. But first I went to Pinterest, found a background, saved it. Then I brought it over to this app called Pixart, hit tools, crop, cropped it to two, three. Then I went to shape crop and I drew that completely out and then made the border size 10. Saved that, brought it over to an app called Fonto. And when you do this, you can do whatever you want. I made mine really extra, but do whatever you like. And then save that again, bring it back over to PixArt, hit add photo, add whatever picture you want, and do the same steps that you did for the background. And then I dropped a shadow behind it because I thought it looks way better. Then I airdropped that to my computer. I made a document with four because I wanted to make multiple. Make it double-sided, it has to look like that. And then I printed them out, laminated them, cut them out, and I gave them away. We all know about the Spotify glass and the Spotify codes, but what if we combined both of those and put them on a phone case? I'm attempting to do that today. So I've seen other people do this and I'm not trying to like copy them. I saw it and I thought it was a cute idea. Um, so I started by grabbing the song I wanted and I traced it with paint. Now I wish I did have a paint pen for this because I did not get to write the artist of the song. Anyways, after that, I made a collage and printed that out of the photo that I wanted and then I cut closer to the photo to make sure it was just the photo. I mod podged that onto the back of the case and again I do everything on the inside so it doesn't smear on the outside of the case but after that I went and grabbed the Spotify code to the song, traced that. Again I wish I had a paint pen but I got this down. After that I went in with a needle to clean everything up and this was the final look you guys. It is so adorable. I'm upset.
tried to do the Spotify picture frame DIY. First, I obviously went to the Dollar Tree and got some certificate award, but the goal is just to use the glass in the picture frame. I only got eight frames, but you could definitely get more, and these are the songs that I picked out. I printed them all out and then traced them onto the glass. Also, I used a Posca pen to draw on all of these. After that, I got double-sided tape and stuck the album cover to the glass. Finally, I used some scotch removable mounting putty to stick it on the wall. Sorry this clip is a little bit long, I don't think I can trim it because I added a green screen video. But enjoy! Compete with no one else is on my mind. Girl, all I want is you. A young girl is 